Well, I thought I would give you a little yard update. It's um, here almost the end of March, and um, we've got all the palms unwrapped, all the Christmas lights off all the palms that, that needed heat, and uh, uh, most of the tropical plants out. Uh, we don't expect to heat any more palms, but uh, we'll probably have some uh, cold weather that'll get some of our tropical plants uh, till uh, April 15th to the 1st of May sometime in there but when the freeze uh, frost is expected to be over. But just give you a little look here what we got going on. And there's our needle palm, our brought out our majesty palm. Brought out some little tropical plants here, bird of paradise. Alocasia portora. Of course, here's our Bassetti bamboo on this side. Got our potted Washingtonia robusta. Back here, you can see the uh, Sable Birmingham. Still big, spotted up a little bit, but this one did a little better. And some of the other ones, we got one of our original windmill palms, Trachycarpus fortunae. It's about eight foot tall. We got our waggy palm here. It's got about a four foot trunk. Looks like it's uh, getting ready to flower again. You can see them. You can see something starting right in, right in there. see this one's been growing a little bit you can see all the palms where we put our little marks I put those started out at the very bottom so you can see his marks moved up to there we got one mark on the spear there and so you can see everything's moving along pretty good over on this side you can see some more of our uh, needle palms there in the center beat up sable miners took a little bit of damage here's our pretty tall trachycarpus that took the most damage you can see it's got some fronds trying to open up there it's got a couple that have opened up and, uh, it's pushing out pretty good too shouldn't be a problem it's the one that flowered and i had to cut the flowers off just to because we don't want it putting energy into that There's Sable Miner, Needle Palm. Here's our Birmingham that took a lot of damage. It looks like it's gonna live, it's just hard to tell. This is our only Needle Palm that took a little damage. It, uh, uh, one of the trunk spear pillows, you can see those brown fronds, that's a sign of that. Uh, but uh, doing the best we can to treat it. see here that all of the little elephant ears are coming back and all over the property the elephant ears the, up here is the canna all these are coming back fine with very little protection just a little mulch after negative one Fahrenheit our spectabulous bamboo took a little bit of a beating it's got some half brown leaves under the negative one. Butia here is in great shape. It's got a uh, little bit brown tips on a few of the fronds, but other than that, it's in relatively great shape. This palm, we ended up bracing uh, a little worried about this palm it was wobbling a lot it uh, uh, the roots weren't established good and the whole trunk was wobbling quite a bit uh, it's always been a little unhealthy because when i had it in a pot i think it took a little bit too cold of temperatures and it froze some of the roots or something which may have hurt it but uh, so this palm is a potential uh, 
has a potential issue, I guess we could say, in the future. It might might not make it. You just never know. One of our unprotected or sable miners, most of them were unprotected except for a couple key ones that I put a just a, a little cover over. <coughs> There's our little smallest palm we have on the Trachycarpus fortunae, a little uh, Bulgaria. It's got a little little browning on some of the outside fronds, but uh, doing pretty good. I think one of the spears has a just the most minute of little damage on it coming out that looks like tried to be fungus. Another small needle palm. Got some small sable miners scattered through here here's our other uh, birmingham that took a lot of damage it's growing but again it looks one of the spears is pretty pretty rough so we'll have to see if it makes it here's some canna they got i covered them up a little bit but they still got burnt by we had uh, 19 degrees here recently that took a toll on some of those Canna, even in zone six, should come back fine if you if you have the regular size uh, canna and put some mulch over them. Sable miner that we just put a cover over and it's virtually flawless. And got all the lights off the mule palm. You can see it's a huge tall monster. You can see got a frond coming out right there right there in the middle and everything's good and green you see all this green here that's coming up on it so mule palm's going to come out so it's going to take a little while see if I can get the top of it there probably 12 13 foot tall just to a half frond so this this palm's going to be 20 foot tall I would say when it Pushes out a couple of real fronds. Here's our Phoenix Robolini uh, pygmy date palm. Everybody asks about it, so you can see how pretty it is out here. And it's got to be pretty big. Might have to take it in again if temperatures go into the uh, high 20s or 30s. I like to try to baby this thing. And over here, you can see. One of our other sables. This was sold as a sable Birmingham, but it seems like it's a sable miner or something like that. It's hard to tell. You can see, I'll show you on this one, but pretty much all of the sables have a flower stalks getting ready to come up there. You can see it right here. And they're they're on all of them. I just I won't bother showing them on the video. Here's our rocket palm, which you can see it's got flowers coming up. It's a female there. You can see them coming out. Rocket palm's got a little few brown ends, but where we marked it, you can't even see the marks anymore. They're uh, you know, it's grown a couple feet since I marked it when we uncovered it. So it's, uh, it's already pushed out at least a couple fronds. There's Sable Miner in the back. Here's our Sable Louisiana. You can see it's got some wind damage to a couple of the fronds there. That's the reason they're bent over like that. And this thing's growing fast. Of course, we covered it up, but it looks great. And here again, you can see some, uh, this is all, those little elephant ears, they're just all over the property like this, uh, coming up. So uh, we'll probably have to cover them again because they're susceptible to, uh, you know, cold frost. And cut over here, you can see some, uh, Christmas ferns down at the bottom. We've got some more little sable miners that are scattered around. There's another one 
of our for two nice this one's about six and a half foot tall or something like that Here's our other palm here, this uh, Fortuni that took a lot of damage. This is one of our males that we used to on a lot of the, uh, to get the seeds from for the fertilizing the, the females that we have on the property. And you can see it's it's pushed out quite a bit. You can see where we marked it up here. These marks were originally down toward the bottom. But, uh, so it's moved up about uh, eight inches to a foot there. Zoria palm here looks okay, but uh, it's got a mark down there. It's moved just a little bit. It's got uh, the other marks on this other side here, so it's a little hard to see it. It's hard on it. You know if I can get it in the. There we go, maybe. You can see the bottom marks. It's moved up inch or so, not a whole lot. Got another sable miner. This one's Palmetto. Still looks like pretty good shape. And the other one that may be a casualty here, but it's still pushing some, so it's hard to say, is that Louisiana that uh, took a lot of damage back here. It really, uh, everything turned brown. And I only cut off just the absolute brown parts of whatever, whether it's the, the petiole, the, uh, or the frond or whatever, but that's what's left. That's all that's green that's left, so not a whole lot. This particular sable miner, you can see it took a lot of damage. I think these ones that were in the shade that didn't have the sun during the day, I think they took more damage than the other ones. But anyway, that gives you an idea of, of what the yard's looking like and everything. And uh, um, hope everybody has a good day.